and welcome back to Art with Miss Esre. This week we have learned, been learning all about the three R's. So we have reduce, reuse, and recycle. We're going to start this video off by going over these vocabulary words. The first R stands for reduce. That means to cut back on the amount of trash that we use. So for example, if you leave any lights on and you don't need it, turn those lights off so you conserve electricity. If you have a water bottle that you're done with, you can keep refilling it up so that you're not throwing away plastic. And if you go to the grocery store, if you can use paper bags or totes so that you can reuse those instead of getting the plastic bags that end up in the oceans. The next R is reuse. So this is to find a new way to use trash so that we don't throw it away into the landfills. Um, a way that you can reuse your trash, um, for toilet paper rolls, you can make new arts out of it. You can use water bottles and put soil into it and you can grow plants. And if you have any old boxes, you can keep them around in case you need to use them for moving in the future. The last R is one that many of us already know, and that is to recycle. That means you're using trash to remake goods that can be used again. So for example, a lot of classrooms have a recycling bin for their paper because we use so much paper. Um, when you're done with a piece of paper and you put it into the recycling bin, they'll ship it off to a, a recycling factory and they will make a brand new piece of paper out of it that, that we get to use over and over and over again. You can also recycle milk jugs, juice jugs, anything like that, metals, plastics, you can recycle all of those as well. A good sign to look for is the three arrows. They're most likely in like a triangle shape. Um, that means that you can recycle it or that it's a recycling bin. For today's video, we're going to be focusing on reuse. We are going to use bottle caps and an empty water bottle and some cardboard to make an art project. So instead of throwing it away, we're going to make art out of our trash. For this project, you're going to need a piece of cardboard. Um, you can use an old box that you have, a water bottle, some paint, paint brushes, and some bottle caps. You should have at least six. If you have more, that's great, and we can make other things out of the bottle caps. And you should have one piece of pipe cleaner. The first thing we are going to do is to put a background onto the cardboard. You can use your water bottle to see how big it is and see where you want everything in the background. So I'm gonna put grass, a sky, a sun, and some clouds. So I'm gonna use this. Mine stops at about this line right here, so that's what I'm gonna base it off of. Next, we are going to color our bottle caps. I'm going to, I have six bottle caps right here. I'm gonna make this into a flower. And then I had four left over. So I'm gonna make this into a bumblebee. Um, you can get creative, you can make a butterfly, you can make another flower, you can make whatever you would like with your bottle caps.
one more time with another coat of paint so it's a little bit darker and less see through. Next we have to color our water bottle. This is going to be the vase for the flower. You can use paint, you can use tissue paper. If you cover the, um, if you dip the tissue paper in a water and glue mixture, it's kind of like paper mache and you can put the tissue paper across. Whatever you want to use to decorate your water bottle is perfectly fine. I'm going to be painting mine. And I have everything painted. I did go over it uh, two or three times just so I could get a little bit darker in certain spots. And now we're gonna start gluing everything together. I'm using the Elmer's liquid school glue. If you have super glue, that would be great. Um, but have an adult use the super glue. Don't have a child because I don't want them to glue their fingers together in accident. But the school glue should work fine. You're going to glue where you want your water bottle to be. And then you're going to hold the water bottle on it for about a minute. You're gonna to have to sit there and hold it so that you know it's gonna to stick to the cardboard. Now we're gonna take the pipe cleaner. I wanted to make a little leaf, so I'm going to bend the pipe cleaner and twist it until I get a little leaf. Just like that. And then we're gonna put it inside of the water bottle. And you can move it around depending on where you want your flower to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down so that it stays. I have my stem where I want it to be. Now I'm going to put my bottle caps there so I can make my flower. So I'm gonna put the yellow one in the middle and I'm gonna put the petals around it until I make my flower. Once you glue everything down, you're going to want it to completely dry before you pick it up. It should take about an hour or two hours before it completely dries. And this is our finished art project. I love how it came out. Um, on the bumblebee, I wanted some little antennas, so I just drew those on with marker. Everything is completely dry and it's not moving at all from the cardboard, so you can hang this up anywhere that you would like. I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you for joining Art With Me today and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye boys and girls.